How SpaceX designed a heat shield for the largest spacecraft ever built. It's not an easy task to objectively show the rate at which SpaceX makes progress. In recent days, SpaceX has shocked the world by announcing the astonishing speed at which it is constructing rockets with Starship. All aimed to successfully perform the first orbital flight. Therefore, the safe return from Earth orbit is extremely important. SpaceX is running very hard towards getting its Starship launched. It has installed the entire heat shield on the half of the hull, which is directly exposed to the Earth's resistance when landing. This leads us to ask questions like, what is the nature and the design of this heat shield? And what makes it different from other heat shield types? Hello, dear YouTube family, and welcome back to our channel. As usual, we always keep you updated with the latest news and what is all related to the space niche world. In today's video, we will tell you all about the heat shield that SpaceX designed for its largest spacecraft. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications button so you will never miss anything of the latest space niche news. Let's not waste a second and move on into the video. What is a spacecraft heat shield? Generally speaking, spacecrafts that re-enter the Earth's atmosphere from orbital travel at very high speed, around 7 to 8 kilometers per second. To land safely on Earth, the spacecraft needs to decrease its speed in the range when it can safely deploy parachutes or aerobrakes. So, they decrease their kinetic energy by converting it into thermal energy. The kinetic energy the spacecraft has while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere is roughly 13 megajoule per kilogram, compared to explosives like TNT, which have around 4 megajoule per kilogram. Therefore, the spacecraft has enough energy that can vaporize almost anything that we know of. However, the good news here is that most of the energy that is produced during re-entry is absorbed by the atmosphere itself, and a small portion is observed by the spacecraft. When spacecraft re-enter the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, the atmosphere just can't get out of the way easily. The particles of air around the spacecraft try to reach similar velocities as the spacecraft, which results in immense pressure and very high temperature. Consequently, this leads to the formation of a shock wave. The shock wave is where most of the re-entry heat occurs. To safeguard the sensitive instruments and the crew on board, spacecraft heat shields are required to radiate or absorb their re-entry heat and keep the thing inside the spacecraft at a normal condition. Last week, SpaceX finished out the vehicle to be rolled and be ready to perform the fit check. SpaceX workers have a launch structure that consists of a large ring with removable arms that can come down to support the bottom of the Starship and then fold back up during launch. During this week, they rolled out the booster itself with 29 Raptor engines on it, and it seems that they fitted these engines overnight, although they were not truly integrated into the vehicle because they are not being taken back off now. It is very clear, based on Elon Musk's photograph that shows the booster from below, that the engines had white interiors, meaning that they had never been test fired. The booster has four grid fins, and this is the first time we have seen this on a super heavy vehicle. Unlike Falcon 9, they have made a few changes on the super heavy. Engines are humongous and fixed out. Moreover, they are currently driven by motors and batteries from Tesla vehicles, which makes sense. They are in pairs, 60 degrees opposite one another, which gives them more control authority in one axis at the expense of control authority in the other axis. In short, Starship 20 wants to be rapidly reusable and it needs a thermal protection system that needs almost no maintenance. SpaceX has already developed a working heat shield for their spacecraft and it is entirely a different one. When their spacecraft returns from space and lands in the water, it goes off to the factory to be refurbished and the heat shields replaced with an ablative one. To do so, they use Pika-X and phenolic impregnated carbon ablators. This latter consists of a resin that makes up the heat shield when it gets hot after the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. It breaks and creates a gas that comes out through the surface and provides a protective layer. Due to this, they can get away with a much thinner and lighter heat shield. The Starship is now supposed to be rapidly reusable. The capsule 
can have a quick inspection and be put back on top of the launch vehicle and head straight back to space. This means that you can't afford to replace the entire heat shield every time. All you need to use is an insulating type of heat shield that can handle very high temperatures without breaking down. Unlike heat shields of space shuttles, which are frequently damaged due to a lot of inspection and replacement between flights, SpaceX has no problems with their new heat shield design. SpaceX doesn't have any problem because its Starship sits on top. It doesn't require lots of different tile designs to cover the entire vehicle. Instead, Starship can afford to get warmer underneath or hotter because it's stainless steel. It has simpler geometry. Given the importance of a heat shield, where are SpaceX's heat shield tiles made? SpaceX TPS tiles are currently made in Cape Canaveral, Florida, at The Bakery. As the name suggests, The Bakery is one of the two main facilities in Florida. Its task is to turn the raw materials into black hexagonal insulating bricks that have begun to cover the exterior of the Starship prototype. They are approximately about 12 inches, 30 centimeters, and it is easy to be applied to the side of the structure. But why is the heat shield hexagonal? The hexagon, according to Elon Musk, is a great shape because it offers no straight path for the hot gas to accelerate through the gaps. So, it will reduce the hot air acting on the ship. This is an innovation that no other company has come up with before. Another important point to mention is that when the structure moves underneath, tiles can respond effectively thanks to the existence of mounting pins and three holes inside each tile. There is also a pad underneath, probably made of alumina fibers, that handle the temperature of a thousand degrees Celsius so easily. Workers make sure that they are close to each other to minimize the amount of heat coming through the gaps. It is in these areas where it should have slightly irregular patterns. Currently, half of the Starship is being tiled. The back is going to get plasma and reflected from the thermal radiation. The bottom of Starship is black because they want to radiate the heat energy effectively while the top of it is white because most of the heat is coming in by thermal radiation. SpaceX has also adopted the pin method to add a pin to the vehicle. Once they are attached, they cannot be removed. Instead of using pin mounts, SpaceX workers are using excellent consistent red glue. Now that we have come to the end of the video, what do you think of the heat shield that SpaceX designed for its largest spacecraft? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notifications button so that we can keep you updated with the latest news. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.